Hey, and welcome to another episode of Renee Ruth Music. I'm your host, Fred Jackson, and I'm with the lovely Renee Ruth. Oh, Fred. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for coming on back. Yeah, it's yeah, crazy. thanks. Yeah, yeah. And and this this episode, we're going to do Ask You Anything. Every time. We're just going to ask you anything. Yeah. All right. So... Before we dive into the music. Oh, oh. I think he's going off book here because we talked about this earlier. I feel like he's going, you giving me a left, a left book here? What's well, up? I just want to see okay. how are you doing? Is that the first question? <laughs> Ask you anything. I am good. <laughs> Actually, Fred, you know I've talked about this. So lately I've been getting the itch to produce, which is useless. Because mm-hmm. It's not useless. It's just funny that I've got the itch to produce because I don't have enough skills yet. But I've been dabbling. My good friend Zion runs this on the hook event. On, I think it's Sunday and Thursdays, but definitely Thursdays. And I went in on Thursday and they kind of, they give you like a genre and then you have like, you know, three or four sounds you can use, but they, but theme is what you have to stay in. Okay. And then you can take them and create a full song. Most of them come back with like a minute and a half. <laughs> it was like, it was like 16 bars. And I'm like, I did 16 bars. Because it took the whole hour to do 16 bars. But I put in some strings. I made my own beats. Yeah. I made my own beats. And I was, I was like, dude. Like, I'm just getting, I'm getting the itch to produce. Mainly because of efficiency like yeah. i was telling you i just got a request from a music supervisor for a very specific song and i'm like man if i could produce i could have called you up we could have yeah. we could have wiped out four or five hours mm-hmm. worked on it tonight not i true. was like mm-hmm. instead i'm like trying to find because we lost our producer right right yeah lost into he went on to bigger and better things for yeah. himself and so we we're, we're you know working with a new producer, but also you know he's busy and has a life, and right. so it's just a time thing. So when you ask how I am, and, and we're in this music podcast, I'm like, a lot of producers. <laughs> <laughs> how am I frustrated? Because I want to produce. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, now let's change gears. And let's talk about more of the exciting things. Yeah, no, the things we already produce, which are amazing. Yeah. And that's charting in the UK. So, what's happening overseas? So, I, okay, so the backstory is, uh-huh. I, uh, if you're listening and you're an artist, there is a real, and you've made music, there's a really cool platform called Music X-Ray. And Google it, and it has briefs. Like so, one of the things that I I use to kind of create a lot of the songs during the pandemic were briefs. I the, so many would come through. Like hip, obviously hip hop, I was like not me. Rock, not me. But like if they came through and it was in the genre I was in, and then I liked the lyric ideas and I liked a lot of that, I would use this, the brief to write a song. And so that made a lot of the music that I did in the last year is very singer friendly. But I kind of, I like to write in a space that's versatile. Right, 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 right. Um, So in having a whole, uh, this year, 2023, when January started, I said, all right, that's it. I finished two albums during the pandemic. I'm going to start pitching this stuff. Mm -hmm. Because I've got this music and I want it to go somewhere. And here's the truth about being a musician and an artist and creating your own art. It's not like there's some, like, you know, needle in a haystack that everyone's looking for so they'll find you one day. It doesn't work like that. Like, you have to put yourself out there and build relationships and connect with people and push you. Like, you have to push yourself first before anyone's going to push you. It's a, it's a new hustle to this game. It's a, it's a, well, I don't know. Do you remember growing up and feeling like it was a right time, right place thing? Correct. That's what I'm saying. Like, we were always told, yeah, yeah, yeah. you gotta go to New York City. You gotta go to, right, like, right. national. It, it doesn't really move. None of that matters yeah. anymore. Social, I mean, social. I mean, to a certain degree, but social media has definitely internet changed the, yeah. the playing field. Right. You don't have to be in a specific place. So, um, I, I 
I decided to pitch myself and I started on that platform because it's, it, it's a pay to play. Mm -hmm. And thankfully I make some halfway decent money. So I was like, instead of going out for dinner, I'm gonna spend $30 pitching my songs to a few places. And so I did that since January and it's all, everything in life is a numbers game, mm -hmm. everything. And so I finally, I don't know if it was a month ago or six weeks ago, I get a message and I pitched because they were putting a compilation CD together of Latin pop. Like how random, like I randomly have two Latin pop songs. <laughs> randomly have. And I was like, oh my gosh, let me try this. So I put my most recent pop, Latin pop song up for the compilation. And uh, I get a, you get a message. It's so fun. They're like, you've been selected. Like, so you get this right, email, right. you've been selected. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, what? And yeah. so like, and I, you know, I've been selected a few times. Um, sometimes you're just selected to the library and the, it'll be in there if someone's looking. Sometimes you're selected for a specific thing, like getting on the CD. So like when they said I was selected, it was to be on the CD. And so it was a UK, a UK company called WOA Entertainment. Woo -hoo -hoo, shout out. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. And so I got a message about two days after that. They're like, hey, we really think this song has legs. Like we think it can, you know, you think of a fine wine and it has legs when you swirl it. Like right. I think it's going to go somewhere. And I was like, really? <laughs> I think I'm always surprised, not because I don't think the songs are great. It's just because... It's like the thing you always think about. Then when someone says it, you're like, Right, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know, they um, said, we think we can get this to chart. And without even, not necessarily asking me, but they sent it off to South America and like four or five countries agreed to put it on their FM radio station. So they had me on their podcast to talk about that. I'm like, how do you feel about the fact that you have all these new fans in Latin America? I was like, I do. Because <laughs> like I found out in the podcast. Yeah, uh -huh. <clears throat> so... They were like, hey, we want to try and chart this in the UK if you're up for it. And I said, I, yeah, like, you know, we worked out the details. And um, yesterday I got an email. They're like, congratulations, you're in the top 100 in the UK. You actually hit 41. So it's weird because it's a Spotify. So I don't know that I'm on FM radio in the UK yet. I think they're trying, but like, you have to jump through the gatekeepers for that. But, it's, but Spotify has their running playlist, um, top. I guess they have a couple top 100 running playlists, and so this one for the UK, it changes in real time. So mm -hmm. like, as people are listening, if your song's being listened to more, it climbs up. And so like, in one day you could go from like 40 to 70, and I was telling a friend how weird that was, because yeah, yeah, growing up, it was like the weekly top, do you remember? Right. Weekly top 40, like, and it was like, they gauged to what was listened to over the week. Right, right. Now it's literally real time. Like, what's happening right now? Who is listening to this right now? Right. So, like, at one point yesterday, I was in the 41st position. <laughs> Just wild to me that I even was able to get into that space. Like, I was on the same list with, like, Megan Trainer, and I was above Ed Sharon at one point. Like, it's just, yeah, like, these yeah. names. I'm right, like, right. you see my name in the list, and it's, like, moving in this list. I'm uh, like, what? Yeah, yeah. That, that has to be exciting. That has to you be exciting. You know. We have talked about this <coughs> forever. Mm -hmm. And just, it's like, but it was that elusive, like, how do we get from here right. to there? Right. You right. know, right. what does that look like? Mm -hmm. And so, yes, it's exciting because this means we're one step closer to opening for one of those people that's, right. that's on that list. That's right. So if you're on that list and hear our song, we want to tour with you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We yeah. want to tour with you. Exactly. We got yeah. a cellist. Yep. We're looking for a, we got stuff. We just, yeah, we want to tour with you. Exactly, exactly. And then my. You have another question? Oh, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I know last week I was asking who would you like to open with. This week I'm going to ask you, and I know. Do you know the answer? No, I do not. Oh, okay. But maybe. <laughs> but I think I still know. But no, I don't know. Okay, what's the best? All right, all right. Who would you like either A, you be a feature with, or okay. who would you like to be a, like, collaborate with? You mean, like, work like, on like, a song together, uh -huh, write like, a song together? Yeah. Do you think you know that answer? Uh-uh. I do not. So, <clears throat> I have always thought that I had the vocals for EDM. So like, above and beyond, BT, 
So I'm sorry. So 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 I do I I do you know were, you, BT. BT. Oh yeah yeah. I do He's know been hearing about BT since 1997. Yeah <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. So, I love BT. Yeah yeah. I didn't know if he was still. In. He's still in the back. Yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know, since you're charting now, yeah. if you just move to bigger yeah, and better things, you know. <laughs> well, I, what I love about him, too, is he's not mainstream. Mm -hmm. He is, but he isn't. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. he, he carved, like, musically, he carved his own path. And I, I love that. Because we were just talking about the fact that, like, even though we would fall into the pop category, we're, we're very much cinematic orchestral pop. Like, it's like this thing. Like, and it's cool because we get to create our own, like, vibes now. Yeah. It's not just so pigeonhole, but he was already doing that like the late nineties. Like here was techno, and he's like, "I'm over here," like right, right. you know, singing on his own stuff, playing all the instruments on his own stuff, recording like sounds, like recording the rain, mm -hmm. and that's like literally an ambient sound in his track. Yeah. Like yeah. I loved how raw his stuff was, but he made it so. Oh yeah, yeah. I mad respect for that dude. Um, but then even like listening to Above and Beyond, like. With stuff like Zoe Johnson, um, uh, Kristen Hawthorne. I, she's, some of them don't even sing anymore. Mm -hmm. um, but the girls that I grew up listening to that were behind the, 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 the DJs or the techno artists mm -hmm. um, always wanted to be a voice. So, yeah, yeah like I, when you think of collaborations, like I, you're right, I, li I start leaning to the. Yeah, 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 yeah. I start leaning to the. I community. mean, yeah. like, like, like. Like, I kind of knew, but then I was like, I don't know, because they might might have changed now. You well, know? no, no, no. I still want to tour and, and, and do mm -hmm. the band, but, like, I still see, like, it would be so cool to do, like, those EDM festivals are big. Yeah. And awesome. Yeah. And, like, yeah. the lights and the sound. Yeah. And, like, how... I still I haven't experienced that. We, we need to go. I'm... Huh. We when need to go. BT, Above and Beyond, Armin Van Buren, when are you guys touring next? So we do. And it'd be really cool to have me do vocals live mm -hmm. with the DJ mm -hmm. or the artist. Not all the guys, you know, they're artists, right? Yeah, yeah. And then like live drums, because that's what they do. Like they have the live, like one or two live players against the wall of sound. Gotcha. It's so amazing. The energy red. Oh, I bet. 10,000 people, lights, oh, yeah, yeah, no, it's still that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's still that, <laughs> and in the, in, in the EDM world, like, in the, in the, in that world, we're young, like, it, like, oh, yeah, definitely, yeah, they're not, the, you don't age out in that, in that mm -hmm. world, because, mm -hmm. it is all about the music, correct, like, literally, it's just about the music, yeah, yeah, ah, yeah, love it, yeah, so yeah, well, that's your three. No more. That, 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 that's no our more. time. That's I, it. I believe that's it. That's it. That's we'll it. catch you next, next time. time. Y'all have a good evening. Cheers.